What I have here is an electric cooking element from a 220 stove. And what we're going to do today is find out what happens when we connect it to 110. Now, I haven't tried this yet. I did plug the element into my stove and made sure it works. It does. I've let it cool off. My guess is what's going to happen is this will heat up about to half of what it normally would being on a 220 because we're hooking it to 110. That is what I am assuming. Now, please don't try this at home. Um, this video is just for educational purposes. If you try to do this, you could get killed, you know, electrocuted. You could burn your house down. There's lots of things that could happen. If you do decide to do this, do it at your own risk. Uh, we are not going to be responsible for any injuries, deaths, or damage to property. All right, well, I've got a digital thermometer here. And let's... So we're getting about 55, 56 degrees, and that's about right. That's the temperature in the shop here. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, and we'll let it warm up for a minute. All right, it does feel like it's starting. Yeah, I can feel a little bit of heat coming off of there. It's already up to 57 degrees. You can see that. Well, if it went, yeah, 56.8, 57 degrees. Fifty-nine degrees, sixty, sixty-one, <laughs> sixty-two. It's heating up pretty quick. Um, before I started this video, I did take this over to my stove, and I turned the burner on. And when it got red hot, I took a reading, and it was off the scale. This goes up to seven hundred and sixteen degrees Fahrenheit. And I did kind of assume it was going to be hotter than that, but I tried it anyway, and yes, it's obviously hotter than that. But obviously, it does work. I'm trying to get an accurate reading here 61 degrees. It's kind of hard to get uh, a good reading because there's spaces between the elements. Right now it feels like it's cooling off. I'm wondering if I'm not getting good contact here. Oop. Make sure the plug is securely plugged in. It was getting warm and now it feels like it's getting cool. All right, yeah, I must have had a bad contact there for a moment. Now it's starting to warm up again. Oh, we're up in the hundreds. I had 124 there for a moment. Well, well it's 101 because it, it is kind of hard to get the uh, the sensor on this on the element because there's spaces. But yes, it is getting warm, so it does work. Hundred and twenty five. Hundred and sixty. Hundred and eighty five. All right. Well, I don't think we need to just keep running the video here. Um, what I will do is at the, uh, the very end here, I will put um, something up on the screen. It'll tell you. I'll let this go for about five minutes, and then I'll do another reading on it, and I'll... It'll be up here somewhere, one of those annotation note things you can put on the videos. I'll go ahead and do that. I'm sure it's going to take a couple minutes. Well, we're at the 200 and 300s, 384, almost 400. She's getting pretty warm. 
All right, well, you could definitely cook with this. You know, you could make a hot plate. Um, it's like I'm imagining it's going to get about half the temperature that um, your cooking range normally would because that runs on 220 volts, and this is 110. So, all right, Tom. Um, well, right about here, you should be seeing that with the final temp is. So, all right, well, thanks for joining us here today.